and in honor of our sponsor who will be providing two round-trip tickets with Ethiopian Airlines to anywhere in the globe, I will now do my best impression of an air hostess. You will notice the emergency exits are here and here, the bathrooms are there, and if you want to enjoy some of this lovely dinner provided by Blue Nile, please enjoy them on these two sides here. If you are looking for water or soda, flag a server and they'll bring it straight to you. If you're looking to have a little more fun, the bar is right down over there. Feel free to get as much as you'd like, but we please ask that if you do drink, please donate even more. Thank you. Now I will leave you with something that I am honored to introduce, and that is the Alex Brown Jazz Quartet entertaining you while you eat. Bon appetit, mel camarade, dig it. Thank you. Thank you all for taking that moment of silence. This is a night rooted in helping the futures of children around the world, and that is regardless of creed, ethnicity, religion, or anything. We thank you all for being here with us today. My name is Teodros Casa, and I am a proud Ethiopian, a proud frequent attendee of this dinner, and so honored to be up here on this stage to MC for all of you. But please remember the privilege is all mine because I get to host on a historic night for P2P. A night which many of you might remember as most of you here would say that you were probably in the range of 24 years old, correct? Well, you don't look a day over 18 to me. Tonight we celebrate the 24th anniversary of P2P's founding. I was just a toddler but I became more aware of the organization as I aged and stayed close throughout my later years. Ever since I learned of P2P though, I've been awed and inspired by the superb work done by the proud volunteers of this organization, the meaningful difference that they have been making in the community, both here in Toronto and back in Ethiopia. Their community health initiatives, youth initiatives, and lives being transformed again, both here in the GTA and for the orphan children in Ethiopia. 
to all P2P sponsors, volunteers, supporters, our distinguished guests, I would like to, on behalf of the organization, extend a massive thank you that you are all here today. You have massive hearts. You have undying commitment. And we expect to see your continued generosity and spirit as we continue to celebrate this night tonight. Round of applause for all of you. Now we have a great lineup of entertainment, messaging and musical performances to lift up your spirits. And of course, the dance floor will be open later on tonight. And we expect to see you all on it. Regardless of how confident you feel in your moves, I promise we will have a great time together. We also have some very cool and valuable items for the silent auction, along with some very exciting raffle prizes. Despite my begging, I am not allowed to participate, so excuse me if I get a little bit jealous if you win any of the prizes, especially one that's been given to us by our platinum sponsor, Ethiopian Airlines. I encourage you to take advantage of this opportunity, either through the silent auction, where starting at $1,000, you can get one round trip ticket to any destination Ethiopian Airlines served. To my mother, I just checked the price. It's about $1,900 to add these right now. It's a steal. Go for it. <laughs> Otherwise, for only $20, you can enter into the raffle where you can win two round trip tickets to any destination Ethiopian Airlines serves. Again, to my mother, I hope I become that number two. Thank you to our other long-standing sponsor, CompuGen Finance, along with, again, our generous supporters, many of which I do recognize coming here for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time. And to anyone here who this is their first time at our dinner, I'm already excited to see you next year as well. The bar is open in the back, and we have servers buzzing around ready to get your every whim, whether that be water, whether that be soda. Please, I encourage you to refresh your drinks now because you will not want to interrupt what we have coming up. I ask you to pay attention to the following short video that we hope captures the very essence of P2P's current endeavors. Thank you to our P2P PR leader, Gion, our creative director, Salman Asrat, and Alpha Studios for putting together that video, which has shown you what we've been doing with P2P over the past year. Many of you have been in the P2P family for a very long time, and I'm sure that you can relate to what's happened in that video, because you can see the efforts that we are out in the community making in order to provide our Ethiopian youth and community here in the GTA with better access to the services to keep them well, and the direct supports that we've been giving to our orphans in Ethiopia, many of which have now went on to lead happy, fulfilling lives, including those having children of their own. A future they would have never dreamed possible if not for the donations that you have made. Round of applause for all of you for making that video happen. I cannot stress enough that we have been doing this for 24 years and we will continue to do it for a hundred more as we continue to work hard. Thank you. We continue to work hard for a brighter future to find as many orphans that need our support as possible and get them to a place where they have the supports they need. To that end, please, if we can bring down the lights. We have placed a small lantern with a candle and a small switch on the back. I want each of you to recall what I've said earlier tonight, and that is that P2P works hard to create a future for these vulnerable children. Each time you take one of these lanterns and flick on the light, that represents the hopes and aspirations for one child. One orphaned and vulnerable child in Ethiopia, which P2P will start to change the lives of tonight because of the generous donation that you make. Without the care that they can receive through your generous support, they will certainly face a dire future. With the support, their future is bright. At the end of tonight, 
There are 25 tables here, each one with a lantern. I hope to see 25 lights sparkling, representing 25 children who will have a bright future because of each and every one of you for a commitment of only $1 a day. $1 a day. Help turn on every single candle here and let's change the future for these children. Thank you. Once you've switched on the lantern, you can scan the QR code on the back of your program card or the P2P brochures on your tables that will take you to the orphan sponsorship page where you can easily sign up to sponsor a child. And I already see a light turning on. I already see a light turning on. Round of applause for everyone who's already supporting us. Another one over there. Another one over there. That has four lives that will forever be transformed thanks to your generous donation. Our ushers will also be on the lookout. To Fifth one, round of applause. Thank you so much for your generous donation. Our ushers will be on the lookout for these lighted candles, and they will come over to help you sponsor an orphan otherwise. I would now like to invite the president of P2P, Mrs. Misrak Lisanu, to the podium to address you all. Round of applause. celebration. I'm going to pause. I have a speech, but I'm actually flattered, honored to have you all come in our new place, because I know for the last eight years or ten years, I don't remember, we were at Daniel Spectrum, but things happened, but you are so dedicated. You hiked all the way here to be with us, so I want to thank you. I genuinely want to thank you, because I was worried if you guys were going to show up, but you showed up. So thank you. For those of you who don't know me, I am Mr. Atlasano, the current president for P2P, uh, People to People Canada, fondly known as P2P. To those joining us for the first time, I see some new faces here, I extend my warm welcome to the P2P family. Our theme for this year, A Better Tomorrow for All, goes beyond words. It encapsulates the essence of P2P's mission. It signifies our unwavering commitment to creating a future where every individual, regardless of their circumstances, can thrive and contribute meaningfully to our society. Today I want to extend my heartfelt appreciation to each one of you who are our pillars the sponsors, the supporters, and volunteers. It's your dedication and commitment that forms the backbone of P2P, and for that, we are truly grateful. This celebration is not just about marking another year. It's an opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to each one of you for your ongoing support. Many of you have been on this journey with us for 24 years. 24 years. And for those new to our cause, let me provide you a brief overview. P2P has two core mandates. One is the Orphan Sponsorship Program, that I'm hoping that you would like the candle for, and the Sound and Horn Program. Our Orphan Sponsorship Program, spanning over two decades, has been instrumental in transforming the lives of over 2,000 orphans and vulnerable children in Ethiopia, many of whom have become self-sustained adults who also give back to our society. We currently have 275 children under our care. And our goal, as Mr. Tady told you guys, is to reach 300 by the end of this evening. That's 25 more lives we can change for the better and 25 more future we can shape just in one night. So tonight, 
I call upon each one of you to renew your commitment with P2P. I urge you to support our cause and be part of something transformative. Every contribution, no matter how small, has the power to make a significant difference in the lives of the children. Let's come together, extend our hands, and pledge to make a difference this evening. As you know, P2P, we have a proven model for the orphan sponsorship that ensures every sponsorship fund directly reaches the children in need. We cover our administrative costs through innovative fundraising efforts that we always bug you around September, October, saying, hey, can you sponsor me for the Toronto Marathon? That's what we do with it. Our summer fair and this celebratory and renewal gala is how we pay for the administrative cost. Our orphan sponsorship success would have not have been possible if it was not also for our partner organization on the ground in Ethiopia. Our earnest thanks goes to Hewitt Integrated Development and Hanna Orphan Homes under the leadership of Laureate Sisters of Abemako and with Rohanna Tashome, who have been instrumental in P2P's success. Now our commitment, our commitment extends well beyond just the orphan sponsorship program. Our second mandate that you all heard about is the Sound of Horn program, which just got launched about two years ago which focuses on our youth mental wellness through the life transitions with mentorship program and asset mapping of our community. 2003 has been a real breakthrough year for us. We've had many proud moments where we had fulfilled our promise both on our mandate, but most of all to you. We launched two impactful programs dedicated to supporting our youth and newcomers through various life transitions with the Navigating Transition Mentorship Program and the Asset Mapping Program. Our mentorship program involving 35 mentees and mentors has been a tremendous success. Um, if our mentees and mentors are here, I know you're here, I've seen many of you. If I could get you to get up or at least raise your hand because you are the first cohort who made it possible for us, where are you? Our, one of our youth leaders will drive into more the successes and more details later on for you guys as well. But let me share some more proud moments we've had this year. We raised over $35,000 through the TCS Toronto Waterfront Marathon. I have to tell you guys, in fact, Canada Running Series ranked P2P third out of 159 charities in the category of charity with the highest fundraising per participant. It is because of you. We held a summer, uh, some, um, in the summer a successful summer fair uh, this past July with one of the greatest youth tur turnout as well. We were also selected by Soft Choice for the Charity Accelerator, Accelerator Program, receiving 200 hours of professional IT support with an in-kind donation of $10,000. And this support allowed us to enhance our orphan sponsorship program, administration, and the Sound of Horn program. And we improved our data accessibility, efficiency, reporting, and communication flow. Additionally, another proud moment, showcasing our resilience and adaptability in the face of evolving, evolving funding challenges, as you can see with the economy, with all the things that's happening around the world, funding has been scarce. We were able to secure $140,000 in funding for the Sound the Horn Mentorship and Asset Mapping Program, a significant contribution from our partners and funders. And these include the Taibu Community Health Center led by our brother, Lieben, the CEO, Gabriel Mikhail. Thank you. <laughs> the Network for the Advancement of Black Community, NAPSI, under the leadership of Amanuel Mendes, who is the founding executive director and our distinguished keynote speaker this evening. Thank you. 
also receive funding from the Government of Canada Community Service Recovery Fund. Now, these fundings not only validates our impactful programs, but also underscores the confidence our partners and funders have in P2P's mission and commitment. That's not all. One more big proud moment to share with you. We are also honored and recognized this year amongst giants of Ethiopia by the Bekila Award Committee for our community service excellence and this award uh, further fueled our determination to serve our community with excellence. So again, on behalf of P2P, thank you to the Bekila Award team. I think you're around there for this tremendous honor. So ladies and gentlemen, as we look ahead, as Katie said, I, was, I have 25 years, but he has 100 years, so that's even better. P2P remains unwaveringly dedicated to expanding our activities and making a lasting difference in our community. None of this would have been possible without the active support of our community, our youth, our faith-based organizations, media partners, businesses, friends, families, and colleagues. While it's very difficult to call all the contributors, I would like to highlight some tonight. Our heartfelt gratitude goes out to our platinum sponsor, the Spirit of Africa, Ethiopian Airlines, and the area manager, Mr. Mesfin Ashepe. Our gold sponsor, Steve Glover from Computer Finance, for his consistent support year after year. Samra, Samra and Wali for their unrelenting support for being integral to P2P success. <laughs> Alex Stitt, our sponsor extraordinaire. He's not here tonight, but he needs to be recognized for his generosity. He sponsored not one, not five, not 10, 28 kids. Thanks to Lynn Kambayashi and Pat Dusher for organizing five People for Kids Gala over the years. Our funders, Soft Choice, for their support. And I particularly want to thank our long-standing volunteer and supporter, Maserat Ababa, who put us in their radar. I want to thank our partners, Taibu Community Health Center, NAPSI, Ethio Cambridge, The Gap, and Ethiopian Association for all your support. Mm -hmm. Lucy Kilisian, the Hollywood favorite gem. Where are you, Lucy? I'm, I, I'm looking your ice candy, I'm looking at your ice candy diamond. So thank you for that earring donation, guys. There's a raffle ticket with an earring and this Valentine's around the corner for those who are interested. Also, Franca um, Petroselli, from Kiliani Jewelry for the generous Raptors game tickets that are on that silent auction as well. <laughs> so Fanyo's Catering, who have catered the delicious cocktail finger food for this evening, thank you. <laughs> Blue Nile Restaurant, Tariku, I don't know where you are, for the delicious dinner that you have provided to us this evening. We're not on desserts, but Cyrano is going to be the one who is going to be taking care of you for the desserts. So thank you to Cyrano as well. I would like to also thank our media partners, particularly Rehan TV. From day one, you've been there with us. Addis Kenyans. as well. Thank you. The silent auction items that are actually out there, if you have not gone through, please go ahead and check them out on the break. But Nana and thank you for the beautiful art that you have given us, Bahayu, for the silent auction paintings as well. I want to give a shout out to Sionka 
Kasai for her beautiful Bahalawi design dinnerware and coffee sets. If you have not seen it, I have some in my house and they're beautiful. Get some. I want to thank our team behind the incredible night, the P2P event planning and fundraising committee, our youth committee led by Maya. The youth, where are you? Are you there? Thank you. Our young youth volunteer that you will be mesmerized by, by later on, Milena Agazi Kasai, who will grace us with her talent tonight. Beatty Kalem, where are you? She's our gala event decor extraordinary, and she does it with a smile year after year after year. <laughs> Thanks to our PR lead, Gion, wearing many hats this evening as the stage producer, and our stage manager, Minnie Lake, for their um, critical role in ensuring every minute of this dashing evening goes smoothly. Thank you. Malaku Tamrat, and all of you guys know him. He is our backbone, our program manager. Malaku, where are you? Okay. Thank you for your patience. He deals with 15 board members, people. Hard work and dedication to, to the successful of all of our programs, so thank you. Board members, the heart and uh, the heart and soul of P2P for their exceptional leadership, passion, selflessness, and dedication. I thank you. And last but not least, before I conclude, I want to express my sincere gratitude to all our sponsors, supporters, volunteers, and everyone here this evening. Your contributions, whether big or small, propel us towards a better tomorrow for all. So let's make tonight count. Let's aim to sponsor 25 more children by the end of this evening. Together, we can make a real difference and create a better tomorrow for all. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening, and thank you. I would now like to call upon our keynote speaker for tonight, Amanuel Mendes, to the podium. Before I get started... 